Okay, so this is my son's room. He's now 23 months. And uh, it's pretty much been exactly the same way it's been since we brought him home from the hospital. Uh, there's just a few things that I've changed as far as organization, and I'll show you uh, those things. So when you come in the room, you have the dresser slash changing table. And this was given to us by my parents, and we got it from uh, Target. To the right, there is a um, trash can that I use. And on the changing table, just keep necessities on here. I've got my coconut oil, my wipes, my Honest Company wipe case, and their wipes inside. Uh, toilet paper, which I use for poopy diapers. I get what I can off with toilet paper, and then I just clean them up with the wipe. Um, we do cloth diapers, so I have cloth diaper safe. The coconut oil is cloth diaper safe, and I have some butt balm, Angel Baby butt balm, that is cloth diaper safe also. Inside here, I've got some hand sanitizer. Uh, this is the uh, remote to my son's fan and some lotion. In the top right drawer, I've got some things on here. We do cloth diaper uh, most of the day, except at nap time and at nighttime. I could not find anything that could contain my son for long periods of time. So my son takes a three hour nap. He sleeps from 12 to three and he sleeps all throughout the night. So we do use one disposable use or it's best disposable at night and for nap. Uh, I do cloth diaper also. Um, then I have necessities up here. I have more cloth diapers on this side, which it is uh, pretty uh, scarce right now because a lot of them have not been folded. As you can see, they're still sitting over here in the hamper and need to be stuffed and folded and put into the drawers. So that's that. In the second drawer, I've got all of his pants. And then in this drawer, I've got his shorts and his socks. And then the bottom two drawers are just like blankets and things. Um, then I have, this is my diaper pail here. And this is just, sorry, it's my purse. I need to restock it, so I put it in here. Um, this is where I put my dirty diapers. got a Planet Wise um, uh, diaper liner in it. And it's a simple human trash can. It's great at keeping the smell in. I have this little organizer I got from Target to keep a little things in it near the changing table. Those are my son's play clothes that um, I put there. He gets changed into when we play and run around and stuff. So I just keep them hanging up there. Um, mobile, which actually is going to be moved to my daughter's room. My daughter is six weeks old this week. And so we're going to be moving that mobile to her because he doesn't really need more. It's now just a a toy for him to swat at. <laughs> um, lamp above the chair. Now the chair in the nursery is crucial. It's crucial, crucial, crucial. Um, we wanted something that rocked, swiveled, and reclined and we found it. Um, this is from Penny's. It is an awesome chair um, and it's come in quite handy. To the right of that I have a little table with Kleenex which is crucial. You need that close to the changing table and to the chair. It works great. Then I have a little bookcase here. This has got books on it, but when he was a baby, there was a little box up here where I kept all of my breastfeeding necessities. Um, so I would keep them there. Um, and also it was a great place for me to set my book or my iPad and my drink when I was nursing him in the middle of the night and I would just keep a bottle of water over here. A fan, which he can't sleep without the fan, which is fine because my husband and I can't sleep without the fan. And then a, um, this light is really dim that I would use when um, I don't want it really bright in here. There was another one in here when he was a baby, but it shorted out. So I, this is actually the one that's going to be for my daughter's room. Um, another bookcase. Of course, it's full of toys because, you know, that's what kids' bookcases are. Toys. Yay. Um, our monitor. Crib. Then in the closet, I have more organization in here, so let me open this up right quick. So in the closet, this is one of those shoe things. Right now, it's being used for a plethora of things, but for my um, son, I had it filled with blankets and receiving things in all of my wet bags. And you can see my wet bags and my diaper liners still down here, but now he's got shoes that he wears, so those go in there. Then I have this other little closet organization thing. This is something, I got these bins at Target for like two bucks on clearance. And the bookcase itself is from 
uh, linens and things when I worked there, you know, 10 years ago. So um, I just kind of modified it and made it into a little storage system. So I have one with all my diapering needs, health and safety needs. Um, this is for blankets. This is for bedding. So this is the mattress cover and sheets. This is uh, the blankets that he sleeps with. Um, this one here are clothes that he cannot wear yet. So these are future clothes. And then this used to be a miscellaneous and this used to be miscellaneous. Um, but it's now turned into three toy bins instead of one toy bin. Then his hamper is hanging clothes. And then I've got like his storage up here. I've got this bag here is our travel bag that we travel with. This is the cot that he sleeps in. It's a baby Bjorn, um, little cot. Um, this is actually a boppy bag, but I put all of the little booklets and pamphlets and instruction manuals and all that stuff that came with any kind of baby gear inside of here. So it's all organized inside of this little plastic bag. And then this is keepsakes and memento clothes and things that I want to keep. What I do is in this bin that I have down here, the top part is full of things that like keepsakes. So once this gets full, which is full now, it gets moved up to this bin. And then the bottom two buckets that you see on this bin are clothes that he has outgrown. So what happens is I throw them in there and then when those two get full, they get stored into another bin that goes into the garage. So again, those two are full. So that means uh, those clothes are going to be pulled out and put into a storage bin and marked with whatever size they are. Then I have this little storage thing that I got at Pottery Barn kids um, online like super cheap it was like on clearance and I used to keep it to store burp rags and and burp cloths and uh, like other little little odds and ends and now it's just become like a miscellaneous thing so that is my son's um, nursery how we have it set up um, please pardon any grunts that you've been hearing my daughter um, is very noisy say hi yeah She's very noisy when she sleeps. So if you have any questions or um, about how I set anything up, please feel free to let me know. All right, thank you.